I recently had an opportunity to sit down with uh, Steve Ashpole and Drake uh, to talk about their experiences with the BPA sessions. And here's what they had to say. One of the things I see as, as being helpful and, and an added feature is our ability to uh, set course prerequisites, the, the process that will be used for that is a thousand times easier than what we do. We can set a specific rule and apply that rule to any course we want to instead of having to make individual changes course by course. So that's going to help um, process for our department when those things change. It's also going to allow us to do more with prerequisites. There's going to be more options we can, um, can set used to help courses to have the appropriate students. For our department there will be, there's just so many drop downs that you see when they're going through all BPAs to have found out that there's pretty much one or two actual screens uh, that we'll be using that just have different tabs that we have to cycle through. Um, so there's more efficiency. A lot more efficiency. Yeah, there's more customizable, it's more customizable how I set my screen up, I'll be able to do many things in the screens I use most, where Drake may have different screens that he uses most often, and those will be just tabs that he can set up right on top and have that, um, and that'll be tied to him, whether he's sitting at his own desk or if he goes up to the front counter, is working at the front counter when he logs on, he's going to have the same tabs. It's not going to, um, it's tied to him as a user and not to the machine as well. I think for students to be able to quickly access and like update their address. They'll be able to go in and change their address, um, change their phone numbers and their email, which they can do now, but students tend to not know how to, it seems, mm -hmm. at times. Um, I think that will be beneficial to students. Um, with those historical records, there's, there's much more depth to that as opposed to currently, we may see, we people that use the current SMS system can see historical records on like transactions of classes and stuff. Really anything that's put in we'll be able to um, see when it was changed, um, who changed it, and that's not as, a, as seen as kind of a police function, but more we can go to that person and say, hey, what happened? How come this student came in and changed it? Or, you know, hopefully most of the time the student's changing it themselves because like Jake said, there's much more functionality that the student can do on their own, but there's definitely a greater amount of tracking that can be done. So we can know, you know, a student's history, um, not have to go pull files or paperwork or anything like that, but it's all right there in the, in the people's own system. We're not going to have a legal, a preferred, um, for students, um, they can have their, like, for instance, I always go by Drake. Yeah. I'll be able to have my preferred name yeah. is Drake instead of Robert. Um, I think there are a lot of different groups on campus that that'll help benefit students also. Sure. It was an aha moment for me as we were going through these BPAs, which is business process alignment. I had in my mind as we started that this was our opportunity to see the new software system and help them align the software system to how we do business. And quickly it became obvious that the BPA process was about us taking our processes and aligning them to this new system. And so that's where the changes are gonna be. We're gonna to have to look at how we do business and and how that all meshes together. Um, in the new system, for example, outreach and missions are much closer tied. They're really part of the same module, where right now and at the college, they're, they're very separate. So how do we mesh those two and bring those two closer together? Um, processes for um, admissions even to, you know, have they, Applied, have they been admitted, have they been matriculated, all those, you know, are kind of new steps in the process that we haven't had. And then, you know, the graduation and how we process and determine if somebody's eligible um, will change. Bringing in other credits, that's um, a great, I mean, we have this feature, but it's going to be so much more expanded in the system of once we bring in a certain course from, you know, a certain, you know, we might bring in Philosophy 101 from Wright State University. Once we've put that in the system, anybody who brings in Philosophy 101 from Wright State University, that there won't be research to be done or, or checking, it'll, it'll be in. Right now we only have the functionality to do that for uh, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, but, but other colleges across the country, we don't, we don't have a database that can handle bringing that information in. So now, um, once we bring in a class one time, it'll be in our system and, and we don't have to continue to translate the same class.
talk about big next steps, I, you know, the unusual action code is one piece of the entire data conversion of what we have in the system now. So there'll be, the unusual action code is one. I think of um, how customizable the test score screen is that every college uses is different. So there's going to be a whole lot of work to be done on how we bring those into the new system. Um, I'm looking forward to Drake getting to rebuild all the uh, degree audit software because the, he's so well versed in it by working on it in the past year, we'll just start from scratch. But no, that's something that won't be brought through. So there's big pieces that, you know, when we convert data, trying to understand what will come over and what we have to start over with. So um, there's a whole lot of work to be done there and come, come fall forward. I just want to say thanks to Stephen Drake for sitting down with me and sharing their experiences with the BPA sessions. And uh, I wanted to let you all know to stay tuned for Monday for our quiz question uh, on this episode. Um, have a great weekend.